here we're going to talk about how to make a half square triangle block which is a very very simple block but it's deceptively simple because it looks a little bit complicated so this is a half square triangle completed block it has a triangle on one side and a triangle on the other side which is why we call it a half square triangle because if you put the two together it makes a square um so on first inspection and actually the first time i encountered a a quilt with triangles on it, I thought that you had to cut out all the individual triangles. Um, so I actually took really pretty fabric and I cut it into a bunch of triangles and then I never touched them again because it looked like a lot of work to sew together all those stupid little triangles. Good news my friends, there is an easier way. You can find diagrams on how to do this. If this video does not make sense, there are diagrams all over Pinterest for you to um, look at if they make more sense to you, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. Um, but I just wanted to, in this quick little video, explain that you don't have to cut out little triangles all day. There are some people who do that. I don't understand how they have the patience. Um, so in order to start this block, you actually need two squares, which is a little bit counterintuitive. Um, you need two squares of fabric that are the same size. And these squares, as you can see, are a little bit bigger, just a little, little bit, put a quarter inch on all sides, bigger than your original. There's all kinds of conversion charts that you can find. Um, if you're using the pattern that this is for, the pineapple quilt, the queen of pineapple quilt, it will um, explain what sizes to use for your initial squares. Um, but these two squares are actually going to turn into two of these. So two squares of these are going to make two of these squares. It's kind of magical actually um, and kind of blew my mind the first time I tried it. So our first step, and it looks like I didn't quite match these up perfectly. There we go, a little better. All right, so I have my two squares, and I have a magical purple pen um, that is disappearing ink. Don't think you can see that, but it's disappearing ink. It's really fancy. In fact, you want to mark these uh, right before you sew them because the ink will actually disappear in thin air. Now these, I don't remember the brand. I think they might be Dritz, but you can find them at Joann's um, or pretty much anywhere. There's some that are, um, so this is air and water soluble ink. There are some that are only water soluble. I don't use those because I do, don't want to have to wash um, in the middle of everything. So I use this disappearing ink as far as cottons, quilting cottons, which is what you're going to be using for quilting for the most part. I've never had a problem with it staying. It's always gone away. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, so in order to make these two squares into two blocks like this, I am first going to draw a line with my purple pen right diagonally down the middle. All right. And then we are going to sew on either side of this line. So we're not going to sew on the line. We're actually going to cut on that line later, but that's going to be another step. Um, so I just use my ruler to run a purple line down. Now, normally I would go ahead and do a bunch of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark a bunch of these. Can you see, I've got all these to do. Um, so that's super fun. Um, but I'm gonna mark all of these squares diagonally across. And then I will show you my next little time-saving trick, which is chain piecing. It's gonna make this super fast and easy. And there was one very important thing I forgot to note. So when you draw your little purple line, you want to make sure when you put these two pieces of fabric together that they are right sides together. So right side versus wrong side, let's review. This is the right side, so the front side, the top side, the pretty side, whatever you want to call it, the pretty side needs to touch the pretty side of the other fabric so that you're seeing it inside out. So kind of sad and boring to sew on top of. Now, it doesn't really matter with solids. You can see that this solid color, um, because the yarns are dyed differently, you can see both sides are exactly the same, doesn't matter. However, that because this is a print and it's printed on one side, definitely want the pretty side to show when you're done. So you're gonna be drawing your purple line on the wrong side or the unpretty side of the fabric, and the pretty sides are gonna be sandwiched together. So for instance, if my block were going to be, let's see, sorry, grab. So these are the two right sides, right sides together, pretty sides together, flip it, put your line. All right, so hopefully that helps you avoid very annoying mistakes. On your way, always make sure the pretty sides are together.